Okay, so here's me playing around with my light box again. This is my straight edge that I uh, showed you. Now, I've managed to get the magnets together and I can't actually make them touch. So before when they snap together, <laughs> um, I turn the magnet over so the pole was reversed. Now, I can't even get them together, but they don't snap together. So if you reverse the poles, that'll stop you from hurting yourself. But look at the depth on that. So this is just turned sideways on my specially adapted light box. So that's just the side of it. But as you can see, I'm taking this on my phone now. The last one that I did showing the uh, inertial line crossover was done with my son's phone, which is a lot better than mine. Uh, that's pretty sweet, eh? <laughs> Things are only getting better from here. I haven't even got the right gear. This is a massive broken piece of glass. <laughs> but I think I know what I'm doing. Crazy. So, yeah, this is the kind of thing I'm doing. to show you all kinds of weird fields. So see that dead zone right there? So that's the fields all pushing outwards. That's like one massive torus underneath. You can see down it there, like it's a hole. And that one goes off down there. Is the ruler gonna give off a field? Maybe this end. Yeah. So the end of the metal rule that I have is also giving off a field Oop, goes up to the side so we'll just turn that back over and have another look at that so there we go Very cool. Thanks a lot. My name's Lee, and I follow the Christ Jesus. And all this is all kind of cool, so I'll be playing for days, trying to figure stuff out of what's going on. Very nice. But. So, yeah. Ferrocell Fun. That was my first go at Ferro Liquid. Of making a solution. So, I'm going to be doing more. Testing them out because I know exactly what I want. But I've never done this before. And so it should be very interesting the amount of depth that I can get <laughs> because of what I'm doing you don't know what I'm doing but boy this is fun it's quite the shape really <laughs> so that's underneath that's on top look at it all spinning through Nothing is reciprocating. Oh, I could stare at this all night. Depth, baby. So yeah, all kind of secret right about now. My flunk soul brothers and sisters. But yeah, this is loads of fun. So yeah, when I refine this ferro fluid, it will be 
a lot better. But I think that's quite the pattern there, isn't it? So that's got an Ouroboros running around it here and here, which gives us that kind of triad. So yeah, comes out of here, up here, and into the side. And same with that. Out, round, into the side, around the inertia line, and out. Out, round, through, round the inertia line, and out. <laughs> and then back into another inertia line because of this. And then straight down, I guess. So yeah, there's the inertial point, and there's where it goes in and spins around, and it must just drop down, I don't know. Let's push that down. Uh, I see all loads of crisscrossing here, so yeah, it then comes out here. Expulsion A, I guess. Don't know. Not sure. But, uh, yeah. When I figure this out correctly, boy, are we going to see some cool stuff. I'm having so much fun. I hope you think your money was well spent, because I do. <laughs> so yeah, this is only going to get better. This is first day stuff arrived today. I've cobbled stuff together. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be good. Thanks. Okay. Now, I'm not going to show you my entire light box, because I've got some really kind of cool things going on that because it's a prototype I can't actually show you as you can see I haven't got my uh, ferrofluid correct formula yet uh, thinning it out and all that kind of thing but I want to tell you how ferro cell fluid works in a magnet and in this plate I want you to watch this and this these are tubes coming from this. So what's happening is the ferrofluid is winding into these. So this <laughs> this is kind of more of a toy. And why? Because I can make the field move that way. And then I let the field go that way. So do you see how it's still going that way? So this is kind of more of an illusion toy. Now there is science to be done with it, but everybody, all the other people that are using this, see I'm changing the direction? That's because the fluid is retaining the memory of the magnet because it's just fluid and it moved there. But if I move it the other way, it will stay facing that way. So it wouldn't be doing that unless these were tubes attached to this magnet and it's positioning the tubes. So I can just move it and there's my residual image that the light is following so this is making a conduit path for the ferrofluid and so it holds the shape doesn't matter what I'll do with it it'll still keep remembering the shape so yeah I'll just go around to the other side Put my magnet over here, then back. Let's see how far away I can get. Okay, we'll put you that way. So we're 10 inches, 6 inches, oh, and there it goes. So we're a good 6 inches away over here. But yeah, it's actually more of a toy. And I've got some really clever stuff going on. And that's where it crosses the block wall. Isn't that funny? Yeah, we're getting some good depth there. So yeah, I'm actually going to have something really cool made up when all the rest of the gear arrives. But right now, I'm just kind of showing you the prototype of what I'm doing. It's all very cool. I 
Anyway, that's me having fun with my first ferro cell material. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun and already I've found out that you can change the way you want the light to go because it moves the ferro fluid in capillaries. It's all very, very cool. Alright, thanks very much. My name's Lee and I'm having a lot of fun with a ferro cell. My name is Lee. I followed the Christ Jesus and his teachings and he showed me all this in visions in 2014 and now I'm investigating it. Thanks very much. Bye.